Hi, this is Chris Smith, Shambles Guru on the interweb, and I'm at my desk in Chiang Mai, North Thailand, an hour's flight north of Bangkok. And I want to share with you a uh, um, a Clash of Clans battle that I had just yesterday. Um, it's June 2014 at the moment. So let's see if I can uh, find this. What you can see here is actually my iPad and Clash of Clans. And I'm not going to go through all the different things. Um, if you're a Clash of Clan player you'll know and you'll see how rich I am or how poor I am but let me go to the war part this is the war part here and click on that and the war ended and our uh, clan Thailand expats it actually it won 67 uh, stars against 39 stars but I'm not gonna go into how that works I want to view the map and I'm going to look at the matches that took place yesterday by clicking that and I'm going to look at the war events to find my uh, my match. I'm looking for where it says me. Uh, that was me with another match. Uh, let me look at this. These are the names of the people in our clan. This was the opposition's clan. See, they're actually Asian names there. I'm not sure if they're Japanese or I think they look like Japanese or Korean. Here's me, and I want to replay this battle here so let me click on here where are we there we go replay I'm not sure how you pronounce that junk so here's the layout and uh, the first thing I did here was uh, I put an archer down here to pull out these troops from the the uh, clan castle there and I put a, a a barbarian here which attracted them up to here and as soon as the barbarian was here I put a load of dragons up there you might be able to see the dragons right and as soon as that happened I put an archer down here now I was surprised that the archer didn't get blown up so I actually put three archers and they just killed that air defenses my next task was to kill these air defenses where right, I quick I put a healing spell there and threw these hogs over here which uh, went over here and hopefully they're going to get those air defences which was lucky and they went to go do the same over the other side here some more air defences here I threw a healing spell over it and I threw some hogs here and they're now working their way around around uh, that air defences and they've gone out I'm taking those out because I don't want the dragons to get shot down meantime I've actually put here four more dragons so if I scroll out there's about six or seven dragons there the next big thing well this is quick I can't do it was I actually put some hogs down here to take out this air defenses but uh, they got blown up <laughs> they got killed and we've got their barbarian king here so I put a, a barbarian here and he's gone out to kill those and while that barbarians there I put my barbarian king here and put this sort of uh, super power over it and that's got rid of the air defences, fortunately, otherwise I'd have been stuck because they would have been firing at the dragons. Their barbarian king uh, is now trying to deal with my barbarian king, um, but fortunately I'm a level 8 and they're a level 1, so I should win that battle, which I did, as you see there. It's left their, their barbarian king a little dazed. And my barbarian king is now going to work its way around the rest of the base uh, because there's nothing else to fire at it because we missed I didn't show it you very easily but the dragons just made their way across here and uh, just deleted everything and with those air de base bases defenses there were four of them actually four air, air defenses with those taken out there's not much to fire at the dragons so you see they just worked their way around and we've almost got we've done it and that's it well, that was quick. That was more difficult <laughs> to narrate than I thought it would be. And what did I use? I used five archers. I used five uh, uh, level four barbarians. I used seven level three dragons. I used 15 hog riders. Um, ten of those were mine, level three, and five of them were out, were out of the clan castle that my other clan members gave me and they were level five actually you can s just see up here where I dropped the five um, hog riders level five hog riders and I put them there so they go straight across here 
onto the, uh, the air defenses which, which were there. Th this is actually a map here, and so if I wanted them to go this way, to get to here, the best thing to do is to use these lines that are there, you can't really see them in the grass, and put it there. I think they got distracted a bit because those hogs actually took some things out around here. So there were 10 of my own hog riders, level 3 and 5, and the 5 I chose from the clan castle I put at the strongest air defences because these air defences were surrounded by other things which were firing as well. I used my Barbarian King, who's now level 8. Uh, this is just to tell me that I used troops out of my clan castle, which was actually five of these hogs here. And I used three healing spells. Uh, healing spells uh, regenerate your uh, warriors if they're underneath it. And I actually used one over this air defense here and another one over the uh, air defense, which was, was behind here and I need to use another one there. I was going to use one down here, but I was so surprised that this air defense that's no longer there, which was there, was taken out just by three archers. I was very lucky. I was expecting to use one or two hogs on that one. And that, that's it. I think that's a classical type of attack. I'm a, for those interested, I'm a, a town hall level eight, and I was attacking a town hall level nine, so I was attacking somebody above my sort of level of strength and uh, 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 resources, they have more resources. Um, so it was, it was a, uh, a strategy which works well. Let me go over it once more. The first thing to do is you put something down, you lure out the troops from their clan castle and then kill them at the side, otherwise they go around later and kill all your stuff. Then I work my way killing out the uh, air defences, mainly with uh, hogs in, the ca in this case, because they can jump over the walls. There's no hesitation cutting through walls. My barbarian king got me out of a bit of a hassle over here when when the hogs I released here didn't actually take that out. And then it was just the, the dragons just worked their way through. That's it. Have fun. Bye.